Well, I'm going away and I'm starting to pack my vehicle. In here, this is a little compartment under where I'm sleeping. And I've got first aid kit, some small tools, um, car emergency kit, uh, tire inflator, 12 volt, uh, hatchet, um, tape, a tarp, and my hiking poles. And, and some black tape as well. So, and that's what I keep in here. And the orange tape's there, just in case I end up on a hike where I need to tag trees or something so I can find my way back. So, that is what's in this compartment. And it just closes up. Then I have a little compartment here, if I can get it open. And in here I have bungee cords, I have some rope, I have, uh, oh my god, battery cables, that's it. And I think that's it that's in there. And we're going to start making the bed and putting everything else in. I am heading away on a trip, so I'm starting to pack up some of my things. In this bin, I put like that's my fill in words. I have some drawing pencils, and uh, then I'm going to put in some. These are prayer cards that I give away. I think, and a book of John. I'm not sure what order I'll put these in. I have some books to read. about midwives and this is a devotional book these are some cards that I'll do watercolor on I'm not sure how everything's gonna fit and my watercolor pencils an art pad Book mark, another book, and my Bible. Oh, and a new testament to give away. And then this is my battery bank. Um, well, it's not a battery bank. Oops, wrong thing. This is portable storage. If I get too much on my laptop. And these are a couple of rocks I painted with a poem that I also give out. A pen and a, just a, one of those uh, pointer lights. And this is my budget book because I still write down everything I spend. So, and that's my first bin. I will take a journal, but I put that in a different spot. This is another bin. My GoPro stuff will go here, but I have a, a band, a little wet bag. I have a waterproof case for my phone. In here, I do have battery banks. There's two of them in there for my phone. These are screens for my window. I can put it right over the car door, have my window open a little bit, and they're blackout. I have headphones, earplugs, and a sleep mask. I have this little light. I have a headlamp. I have flashlights, a little sewing kit, a box of batteries. I have a folding saw, a mirror, a sharpener, as I do have a couple of knives in the car already. This is a magnifying glass because I like to look for fossils and this way I can see them better. And this is a mosquito net for, you can wear it over my face, a bug net. And that's pretty well it. Oh, and my earbuds. So that's the second bin. Today I'm taking, this trip I'm taking a bigger bag. But in here, I'm also putting my tripods and also my laptop and everything. So there's going to be quite a bit in that bag.
I use for my windows. I just cut out cardboard for the back windows. The front window, I use the the one at the back, the screen, and I have like Velcro tabs on my window plus on that. And then that little one there is for the back. I take my water in three smaller jugs because then I can tuck them into little spots because I do only have a Ford Escape and uh, it's not a lot of storage, but it's easier to put smaller bottles away than to put one large one. One burner stove and in that little lunch bag, I have three canisters of butane. This is the box. My dad made this for him and mom when they used to go away to motels and they'd have an electric kettle and some jars with tea, coffee, all that stuff in it. Well, I have a takeout cup here. I have a kettle that plugs into the lighter. And I have another cup down there to drink from as well. I have one metal plate. And in here I have ground coffee, I have decaf coffee, I have coffee made, I have little whiteners, I have different um, little condiments and stuff. I even have a little bit of hot chocolate, my little coffee thing with filters here. So I'm all set. And this will go in the front seat. So it'll be ready for me to plug in and have the kettle boiling just before I stop for a break. In goes on the floor in the front. And in it I have, I have a frying pan with a folding handle. I have one pot down there with one container in it. I have these things are my little soap containers. I have a smaller one and I have a larger one. I also have tea towels. I have dish soap. I, I have a bottle here. This is homemade laundry detergent because I make my own laundry detergent. More creamers in this container here. Um, I have, this is what I use for garbage bags. They're little dog bags. So I usually put one in the back for my sort of toilet things and then one in the front for my kitchen waste. Now, wooden spoon, there's utensils in here. Um, I have, over here, I have a couple of measuring cups that will fit in there and a spatula. Right there. And that'll be it for that container. The backpack that I will use, and there's a couple of water bottles already in the sides, and a little lunch bag, in case I take a little lunch with me. Um, and a, there's another little mini tripod in there and stuff like that. And a uh, little first aid kit. Um, I have one under the, the section at the back too, but... Uh, I always take one in my backpack as well. And uh, one of those uh, foil blankets in case you're cold. And some other little things for when I'm hiking. Doing laundry. Well, this is my little laundry drawer. This is just for like undies or socks. If I'm running low on those. If I'm running low on my other clothes, I do go do laundry. Or I even, at some points, I've even washed my clothes in my shower and then just wrung them out, rolled them in a towel, and later on dried them, hang them up to dry. A little thing that's new for this trip, I hand sewed this out of an old pillowcase, and it's got pockets, and in one here I have, I have, these are um, face wet wipes and stuff, and then I have all my dental stuff here. I have partly false teeth, so I have to have both, and in here I have um, sun lotion and bug spray, a little brush, and uh, oh, a tube of cracked heel cream that I use on my hand that has had chemical burns and I have problems with that. And in here I have two little hand towels that I put in there. And that will um, do up around my back of my passenger seat. These are my food boxes for my trip. In this one, I have all dehydrated meals and a few spices and ketchup, little packages of ketchup and stuff. And in this one, I have oatmeal, some fruit cups, a little bit of peanut butter, a couple of dehydrated apple spice rice puddings, and a couple of little bars that I made. Um, 
they're like Lara bars. And that's it. And oh, I have some little packages of dehydrated strawberries and some pineapple pieces of pineapple leather I made. And so those are my snacks. I'm going to probably mostly eat two meals. I'll have my oatmeal and stuff in the morning. And then lunchtime, I'll have some dehydrated strawberries or a fruit cup or something. And then I'll have a nice dinner that I've made. Take two thermoses with me. Um, the large one is if I boil extra water in the morning, if I got the cook stove out, then I will fill that up and I can use that during the day. And then the smaller one, I like hot drinks as well as cold drinks when I'm walking. So I like to take a thermos of a hot drink, a tea or something, as well as my water. Here I have the two bins behind my seat. Under my seat, I was able to put two of those bottles of water and an umbrella. In the back pocket there, I have some Velcro if I need it, my journal, some extra maps, and the book I'm reading right now. And then down beside that, I have the, well, I can't even see it. I have the stove and I under there and I have the the butane gas. Now under my my foam I have one blanket, a sleeping bag and so one blanket, a sleeping bag and another quilt. And then I have a soft cover on my foam plus I have a light sheet under there. And I have the warmer sheet in case I don't need a blanket when I get to the warmer places. And then on here, then I have a quilt here that I can take off or whatever. Then back there I have my bag and I have a chair and I have the window coverings. And underneath my mattress and everything else I have a TV table that I just took apart and I've laid underneath them. And I can't feel it. And in there, I've got the pockets up, and I took the first towel out, and I hang it under the top, the headrest, and so that's ready to go. So this is a view from the back, and the window coverings there, and I just throw my backpack back there, and then when I'm going to bed, I just throw it on the front seat. Sometimes in that pocket there, I'll pop an extra light pair of shoes or flip-flops. Down here, I have my toilet system. This is my toilet. And underneath the pockets here, I have... I ended up moving the sun lotion and the bug spray down there, but I have toilet paper. And I have uh, dish soap down there as well. And also some vinegar and a spray bottle. And I put the little garbage bag right there instead in case I have to put some paper in it. Seat, I put wet wipes and I have them in an old peanut butter jar. More toilet paper. Able to fit everything in the front. I have hiking shoes, hiking boots, sandals, well flip-flops, and my kitchen bins and my food and my wooden bin and I put a a beach towel behind that it kind of protects my seat from the corners of that wooden box and it's useful for other things and in the door is just some bags that I might have use for here I have my furry companions I'll get down there some odd and ends some sunglasses extra sunglasses some hair ties nail kit um, and I and a little tiny pair of scissors. Thing is, no matter how long I go for, I tend to take the same amount of stuff. So when I went away for over two months, actually I think I had a little less than this. Didn't have as many tripods, didn't take as many clothes, but it was summer. So I had more shorts and sundresses and things. So that's just a little glimpse of what I take on my trips and, uh, you don't need tons of stuff. I probably don't need half of what I took. I always take a little art stuff and everything just in case it's a rainy day. But in the end, most of the time I don't end up using it. I go for a walk anyway. Or I might just read or listen to a podcast. Now showers is another thing. In the States, um, I found that the Ys charge me $5. And a lot of times I can even do a workout. So that's pretty good. And in Canada, I have never had to pay for a shower yet. 
Um, if I'm traveling a lot in Canada, I buy a National Parks Pass, which enables me to shower there. If I'm in Nova Scotia, all the provincial parks are free for the day, and so I'll pop in a shower there too. And even when I went outside of Halifax, it was supposed to be $2 for the shower, and in the end they gave it to me free, and I was able to have a sauna and all sorts of stuff there as well. And because I don't have a GPS in my vehicle, and I don't have data in the States. I download all my maps in Google and offline maps, and then I can just plug in my addresses and it works. And also to find places to stay, places to get water and that using my app. Well, I got my travel insurance and my credit cards have been notified. So I'm on my way first thing tomorrow morning. So follow my trip.